if people uh, who are in in public, I'm not that much in public, but people who are in public, uh, they either use the gay thing as some entertaining thing and campy thing only, and but otherwise it's like, oh, we don't know, we don't know what what you know what kind of what kind of person they are in this personal sort of way. What what that does, and or people not wanting not wanting, it's just more convenient not to talk about that too much. Uh, it it uh, it gives anybody who has who feels that gay, there's something wrong with being gay a kind of justification for that feeling because I mean they're hiding so there must be something wrong with what they're because they you know what I mean it could just it's kind of a self-justifying thing that is uh, uh, it's, it's as if uh, uh, shoemakers uh, were uh, all would deny that they you know and do it in secret. Then everybody would think there was something terrible about shoemaking. <laughs> Sometimes when I can't think of what to write about, I'll just start with a description of the room, and then if I'm lucky, it'll go into memories or whatever goes from there. I've also been uh, going through uh, these old songs that I only have written down, and I barely remember how how to sing them, and sort of looking at them, trying to figure out how to play them, and uh, and then recording them. Uh, so that's also as a biographical, because their songs may be written in the 70s that I hadn't, that I'd never recorded, and I'd forgotten basically, and I just dug them out of, you know, pieces of paper. They're just some pieces of paper. Trying to come up with a song, <laughs> basically, it's like that's your job and that's your work. So you sit down and you try to come up with a song, and then what happens? The epiphany, if there is any, happens in the course of writing the song, not emotionally, but in the course of, uh, oh, fantastic, that's what that's about, and and so then you. Um, then you get like a certain clarity. The, the, the elements you've been working with to make the song suddenly sort of line up to make a coherent whole. A whole story, or if it's, sometimes it's a story which is great, and sometimes if it's, um, it's, it's um, a piece that's made of in a kind of surrealist way, made of connected different elements, but somehow they all click into some kind of single world. And that's like a kind of epiphany, but it's not like I realize something. Follows rain 
in the faith of her name follows her paint the night snowy white and the Silver 